Uh, this is a prayer. Praying for Justin. Why? Right? I don't know. Why are we doing this? I mean, sure, we could pray for him, but why are we doing this? In Justin's recent Instagram post two days ago, he writes, Just wanted to keep you guys updated a little bit. Hopefully, what I'm going through will resonate with you guys. Been struggling a lot. Just feeling super disconnected and weird. I always bounce back, so I'm not worried. Just wanted to reach out and ask for you guys to pray for me. God is faithful and your prayers really work. Thanks. The most human season I've ever been facing my stuff head on. So yeah, I'm gonna give up a prayer and just pray for him. Uh, Heavenly Father, I thank you for uh, Justin. Uh, Lord, I thank you for uh, his influence, uh, the art that he creates. I uh, thank you, Lord, for his life and and for um, uh, the good and the bad times uh, in the ways uh, you have uh, brought him through. And Lord, I uh, thank you, Lord, that you have been showing evidences of your grace and uh, growth and maturity, Lord. And he recently shared a post uh, on uh, his Instagram for prayer, God, and he says he uh, believes in the power of prayer and Lord I uh, thank you that uh, uh, he was able to open up uh, even this much and, and ask for prayer uh, in his humility Lord I ask that you will grant uh, him wisdom and strength through this time um, it sounds like he is going through uh, something that uh, uh, not only is, is deep and personal but could be relational uh, first I ask that you will bless his marriage uh, with his wife Haley, uh, pray that you, oh God, uh, they their their marriage uh, may uh, be centered upon uh, the principles of your word and gospel of uh, unconditional love and respect. Uh, Lord, marriage is uh, very difficult, uh, but Lord, pray that you will bless it, bless it in a way where you'll be filled with uh, um, forgiveness and understanding. Uh, with love, joy, and peace, and patience, and kindness, and goodness, uh, self-control, and gentleness, uh, the uh, fruit of your spirit. Uh, Father God, um, continue to humble him um, as uh, the husband in the relationship, uh, to, to continue to uh, understand and um, uh, minister uh, to his wife. Uh, thank you, Lord, for the marriage as well. Continue to seed in them, um, uh, hearts of gratitude and thanksgiving Father also regarding uh, His struggles that he is going through he shares that he uh, is feeling uh, Lost or uh, confused um, I pray that in this time that uh, if it may be anything related to uh, mental health that Lord you will bring people around him who uh, will be able to keep him accountable, uh, hear him out, be a loving encouragement, uh, a guiding mentor, uh, to be able to uh, be present with him, uh, to know that uh, he's not alone, to experience the reality of, of uh, uh, love in the presence of others and through. We also pray that You'll continue working in his heart, uh, Lord, that uh, we pray that uh, the Holy Spirit, you will uh, seed, con continue to seed your word into his heart. And in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I think prayer, I mean, this kind of prayer is important. And sometimes I think it's important to publicize it. So what are your initial thoughts based on this post? I think it's cool that he's talking about it, even though he didn't put give any detail about it. He gave enough detail that people can pray, but then... Well, he's been struggling a lot. And, I mean, everybody struggles, whether or not you have... Whether you're, like, wealthy or not. Or, you know, you might think, okay, if you're wealthy, you can afford yeah. counseling services. You can afford... Yeah. I mean, uh, you have better time. access to it, but mm. you're still human. I don't know exactly how or what it is when someone says, you're feeling super disconnected and weird maybe disconnected yeah. from identity disconnected from purpose per disconnected from work disconnected from family relationships mm -hmm. maybe it's a mix of all of them 
but uh, I think it's 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 good that he is struggling. Yeah. Because many times I like when people struggle because yes. then they grow. So I think that's a key word here. I really like the word struggling that he uses. Yeah. Because it shows that he cares. Uh, instead of doing nothing and being apathetic about it, many of us or just suffering don't struggle. With, mm -hmm. I think all humans suffer, but not every human struggles. Yeah, and a lot of it is we all suffer in life, right? We all can list A, B, C, D, E, F, G list of sufferings in our lives, and it's not necessarily to say, oh, my struggle A, B, C is worse than your struggle A, B, C. But Dr. Paul Tripp, he, in a sermon, said, it's not what you're suffering, but how you're suffering, mm, what you're suffering, mm -hmm. that really transforms and helps mm -hmm. you position yourself in a way that you can overcome that suffering. Mm -hmm. Edward Welch, in his book Side by Side, he writes, when you are going through something where you feel like you're struggling or having a lot of difficulty, mm -hmm. where you feel like, okay, I can't handle this on my own, I'm gonna go through a breakdown if I if I don't share it. Then Keep talking. He, well, you have to keep sharing it to the circle of people around you until it becomes something that is managed or you're able to manage it and start one person at a time this person has to be someone whom you can trust someone who will keep you accountable uh, someone with a level of maturity and also can keep uh, what you're saying in confidence i really like how he is sharing that and extending that vulnerability super disconnected and weird many of us do feel very disconnected i mean he's working right this is his work uh, he's recently married, uh, a lot of changes in his life because when you're married together, you're becoming one with the other and you are you have to kind of sacrifice and give up your own individualistic, personalized values and habits in the way you do things. Like you're merging it and creating new foreign values and patterns in your life. That stage, that storming stage takes time and it takes pain and sacrifice for you to learn how to understand and perform together right uh, it's kind of like a, a child you can't expect a newborn to sprint well first they have to grow to be able to even learn how to turn roll on their side and then they have to learn how to sit up and then they have to learn how to stand and then they have to learn how to walk and then they learn how to run it's a long process right uh, being married is like uh, two legs. In the process it takes to learn how to sprint, you have to go through the struggle of all the stages to learn how to sprint. Mm -hmm. Not to say that marriage is in, in any way a higher value or higher potential than being single, but just to understand, I'm going to give this analogy here where uh, let's say if Justin was single, he was on one leg and now he's married to Haley, he's on two legs. So with one leg, Justin can hop around he with some difficulty he might do other things and well with two legs he, he it's kind of exponential the possibilities in which he can do he can sprint with two legs you can do uh, a lot more than you can do with one the the benefit is not a mo a mo it's not like a multiplication of two but it's an exponential multiplication multiplication but to learn how to get to that potential in his marriage it takes years right like when you're married, it's kind of like you just entered your studies. It takes four or five years to get a uh, bachelor degree in your spouse, another two, three years to get a master's degree, and then another four or five years to get your uh, PhD, your, your doctoral degree. So it takes at least 10 years. So I got that from a movie, Courageous or Fireproof. I don't know which one it was, but... Same producers. Same producers. So he does say, you know, he will bounce back. He's not worried, and that's great. I think... I know, think it's great that he's asking for prayer even though he's not worried. Mm. And I think it's great because a lot of the times it's normal to be worried on the onset, uh, but to dwell in the worried. But it's important that you, you reach out, you confess and you share, <gasps> you externalize your difficulties and what you're going through. Because a lot of the times when you externalize and you share the secrets and the things that are bothering you and struggling with, then you can experience uh, the presence of love manifested in your brother oh my sister. neck hurts another benefit of him sharing is that he's making himself known so another benefit for justin of him sharing is that 
he himself would feel more of the support and love from his fans. So when a fan would say, "Oh, I love you, Justin, and I support you," uh, let's say if they said that to him, and there's a lot of himself in which he is hiding from his fans, then he would think more on the lines of. Oh, you say that you love me and you support me, but you don't actually know who I am. Uh, how can I accept that you love me when you don't even know me? How do you know what you love? You don't actually know. You don't actually love my true self. Would you actually love my true self? You only know my image self, but do you know my true self? Him sharing this is sharing a bit of his true self. And that's healthy for all of us to have people in our lives who uh, we can share our true selves, and we can have multiple people in which we can share different. Uh, different portions and angles of ourselves. And in doing so, uh, that kind of fellowship, that deep friendship, really helps for our own mental health. So yes, he writes that he will bounce back. He's not worried, uh, but just wanted to reach out and ask for prayer, right? Uh, he says, God is faithful and your prayers really work. Well, yes, I got to say amen to that. God is faithful. And yes, prayer is uh, mysteriously powerful. Oh. The most human season I've ever been facing. He's facing a stuff head on. Again, it's encouraging to know that uh, struggling head on and going through the pain and suffering along with that. Because along with pain and suffering, there's always uh, growth through it and you learn you learn as you suffer I think just as important as it is to pray for him it's equally as important to pray for his marriage his wife as well because in a sense his decisions uh, don't just fully belong to him it also uh, belongs to his spouse I look forward to uh, the future work that he is going to put out. I think it's not only important to pray for also his marriage and his spouse, spousal relationship as one unit, but also those around him. So thank you as well. Thank you very much for Nacho Fam, for those who pray uh, for Nami and I, and also the family and the kids. Nami and I do also pray for you, uh, for you when you specifically ask for our prayers. and. Uh, some of you who do email us, uh, we may not respond back immediately, but we do read uh, all the emails. Uh, we just get and comments. And comments. We, I think Nami says that she we read about ninety eight percent of all comments. Mm -hmm. I think it's close to around ninety percent because we just have like maybe five six hundred videos and. No, they all come in order. They all come in order. Wow, and I think it, it's important for us because we need to understand uh, the viewership because it's a it's a two-way thing right like i love you